Hey Jessica, I'm so excited to be here at this Coral Gables listing asking you 35 questions. Awesome, thanks for coming, come on in. So how'd you start your day today? Like I always do, with a good hot coffee and some cuddles with my dog. What's a skill you're currently working on improving? My on-camera confidence, so you better let me know how I do. How old is this property and have there been any recent renovations? So the home was built in 1957 and they redid everything between 2017 and 2019, including the roof, the piping, um, they exposed the floors, the kitchen and more. <laughs> Where are you seeing the most demand? Condos, single family homes? Definitely single family homes. What's your favorite detail or space in the home? So besides the kitchen, absolutely the terrazzo floors. How do you stay active and fit? I actually go to the Lifetime right down the street. Come on, why don't we go sit in the living room? What's the most unique item in your home? Um, probably the dollhouse that my grandma Ham built for me. It has full electric and it's got that 1950s vibe going on inside. Do you prefer early mornings or late nights? Definitely late nights. What's the most rewarding part of working in real estate? Getting to own my own business and truly being able to provide the type of service that I want for my clients. What's your favorite shopping district or mall in the vicinity? Mm, like a tie between Merrick Park or Brickell City Center. Can you elaborate on what makes this home so special? I think they did a really great job at maintaining the 1950s characteristics, but also tying in new and modern elements. What's the most unique feature of this property? Definitely the guest bathroom. It has that blue monotone throughout the whole bathroom, including the toilet. It just reminds me of uh, the bathroom that I grew up in, in my house. How do you handle negotiations during a property deal? Always with respect and understanding for all parties, but while keeping my client's best interest in mind first. If you can have dinner with any successful person, living or not living, who would it be? Probably Jimmy Buffett, and we would definitely have margaritas. <laughs> What would you tell someone who isn't aware of the changes in buyer comp and the MLS coming August 17th? Let's go to lunch and we can fully talk about it. What's your approach to finding the perfect property for a client? Really getting to know them and their lifestyle. Do they like to cook? Do they like to entertain? Do they like to spend time outside? I think really getting to know them. Are you a foodie? And if so, what is your favorite type of cuisine? Definitely a foodie, uh, probably Italian. I've been super into Thai lately and anything that I can eat outdoors. Speaking of food, why don't we head into the kitchen? Wow. How nice is this kitchen? So nice. <laughs> What's a fun fact about yourself that not many people know? I lived in Florence for a little while. What's the last book you read and did you enjoy it? It's called First Lie Wins and yes, I definitely enjoyed it. I think I finished it in one day. <laughs> How do you stay updated on market trends and changes? Um, reading, but also just talking with other agents. Being in the office all the time really helps too. What's your favorite season of the year and why? Definitely fall because I love all the fall activities, apple picking, and anything and everything butternut squash. <laughs> Where were you born and raised? In Westchester, New York. Which local restaurant do you recommend for a special occasion? Uh, either Bellini or Penne Vino. Where's that? Uh, it's down on Lincoln Road. But if I really think about it, if it was up to my dad, we'd end up at Flanagan's. <laughs> Do you prefer city life or country living? Uh, a little bit of both. I like the hustle and bustle of the city, but I also like the slow aspect of living in the country. If you could change or add anything to this property, what would you do? I would add a huge garden past the pool, uh, tons of vegetables, herbs, everything. What's the most challenging aspect of your role in real estate? Uh, it's probably a tie between not having enough time or trying to stand out in a market with over 65,000 realtors. What's your favorite park or outdoor spot nearby? I love starting down near the bridge at Peacock Park and then walking all along the water past Regatta towards David Kennedy Park. Is this home staged? It is. What's your favorite family memory? My annual trips to Long Beach Island. Also any memories with my cousins. So climbing trees, apple picking, and watching Matilda. What's the most memorable trip you've ever taken? Um, a few years back, we did a Euro trip. So rented a car, started in Switzerland, went all throughout Italy, Hungary, Austria, and ended up in Germany at Oktoberfest. Are there any hidden gems or lesser known attractions in the area? Yes, so there's tons of farmers markets, Pinecrest, South Miami, Coral Gables, Coconut Grove, endless. How is the Miami market different from other major markets? 
It's super competitive, and also there's always something being built. I think we have over 90 new developments currently in progress. <laughs> Who are your typical clientele? Mostly sellers, but I also work with a lot of out-of-town buyers, so New York, Chicago, and also first-time home buyers. What kind of real estate do you specialize in? A little bit of everything, but I do a lot of residential single-family homes, condos, townhomes. How do you like to spend your weekends? Always with my dog and my husband, outside, going for walks, eating great food. You can find us in Coconut Grove or Coral Gables any weekend. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you coming. This was so much fun. Thank you, but I better get back and sell this home.